Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a follow-up to yesterday's M13B bare bones video. This is what I said the bare bones weapon could use. I think we need to improve mobility a little bit. That'd be nice. ADS speed, ADS movement speed to strafe speed and sprint to fire. I'm willing to sacrifice recoil. I'm willing to pile it on just to help out in those areas. Otherwise, don't touch the weapon. It's good enough as is. Notice that I call this configuration high recoil. Look in the upper left. This thing recoils more than Grandma Newbie does the first time she sees old Grandpa in the morning. So let's take a look and see what we've done to it. We start with the M13C collapse stock. And you can see where the red is. Immediately focus on the recoil. 106%. More than twice the normal recoil. The bare bones recoil. But the horizontal isn't that bad. Even at 35% additional it still barely goes horizontally 35 percent increased on the vertical these are composite numbers this is as bad as it's going to get with all the attachments that we put on it hip fire max a little better tax stance a little better but flinch resistance a lot worse at 22 newtons at look at the mobility remember we said we wanted to improve the mobility we wanted to improve the handling so ads movement speed is a brisk 3.5 meters per second that's really good for an assault rifle. ADS speed, we improved it by 15% down to 162 milliseconds. And sprint to fire speed, 161 milliseconds. So we did what we said we were going to do. Now let's see how the recoil looks in the shooting range. First, the hip fire, and we will not control it at all. Up and slightly to the left, just like it did yesterday. Now aim down sight. straight up it ends up over the dummy's head and i'm not talking about me there so no wise cracks from the crowd this is hip fire again can we control it oh yeah yeah this is controllable so let's take a look at the rest of the configuration seven inch brun b m20 barrel that piled on the recoil and it increased the mobility and handling so we're really good there shadow strike suppressor and the reason i use the suppressor the reason why i used overpressured ammo is really i only added three attachments to this weapon i had two open slots so i always throw on a suppressor that doesn't impact the stats at all Do dr6 hand stop and that helped with the mobility and the handling in a significant way and the accuracy is down a bit in terms of hip fire and tax stance overpressured and increases target flinch 75 percent so 1.4 newton punch is coming at the enemy that helps on the longer shots when somebody's got you locked in with her ar even their smg but especially with sniper rifles or with marksman rifles Let's organize the numbers before we get going and see exactly what we've done to the factory setting. If you look at range, it's a slight decrease. Red is bad for the configuration. Highlighted red is something you should take note of. Green is good. Same with highlighted green. So the recoil more than doubled on the gun kick and 75% more on the vertical. Slide up on the horizontal, but the horizontal is non-existent as you saw in the shooting range. Aim down sight speed significantly improved, 68 milliseconds. We hit the mark there. Movement speed a lot better as is sniffing your toes speed. Tack sprint speed better and sprint to fire we were aiming for. 49 milliseconds better so we're going to be up in people's faces a lot quicker flinch resistance slightly down overall we did exactly what we said we were going to do we help mobility ads ads movement speed aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and we gave up a lot of recoil let's take this high recoil beast onto the field of honor see if grandpa can shoot at anything other than the sun and moon with it see what it did for him see what it did to his friendly enemies let's go we're going skiing again free for all let's see how this high recoil heavy puncher fast bullet gets grandpa gacked look at this guy whoa nice kill all right, let's start over again. Grandpa's already down by three. That guy must be farming the, f there he goes. 
Ha. Word revenge is a good one. Dr. Doom is Elvis the King. So this is my first game with a high recoil, and I kind of wanted to keep all the engagements pretty tight, although you see even a hip fire doesn't seem to not be controllable. It kind of works its way up to the head. And we've tied with Dr. Doom. There's somebody. Nice. Go, my mosquito child, and do work. Bite somebody. I'm down by four now. I mean, this is like instantaneous. Dr. Doom, got him. So you saw that one was at distance, and the recoil was very controllable. Hip fire, it went straight as an arrow. And it's packing a heavy punch. There's Dr. Doom again. Dr. Dead is what we should call him. Now, at almost 850 rounds a minute, and you can see even that, that was a tough one there. The guy was laying down, but we were able to zero in on him. At 850 rounds a minute, this thing really packs a punch. Ouch. Grandpa just got punched. Oh, throw out the mosquito. Those things really come in handy now that they don't gack you. They don't gack the sender. There's somebody up there. You can see, I mean, it's running out of bullets. 850 rounds a minute, 30 rounds. Takes less than three seconds to reload. I decided for the mobility's sake, aim down sight, aim down sights, movement speed, the strafe speed, not to add more rounds. Chase that guy. He knows I'm chasing him. Whoa, that didn't work, didn't work. Had time to reload. Grandpa's imitating a Muppet there. Stuff going on around him. Let's get back to that primary weapon. Don't need to re-kill the dead people. There's Dr. Doom. Starting to build a lead. I thought that guy with the wasp was really going to... There he is again. Man, look how fast he runs. I thought he was going to be trouble. And he has been. Let's see if we can run him down. We have another cluster mine. Or have we not put out this first one yet? I don't think we put it out. There we go. That was the second cluster mine, I think. And it's doing work. Almost turned on that guy, but... He got him old old grandpa. But Grandpa, he's serving guacamole with chips in this game. We're up by nine from being down by a bunch. And you can see, man, it puts out bullets so fast for an assault rifle. It has such a good range. And such good mobility. Great strafe speed. Where did this guy go? Is it Houdini. There's Dr. Doom. Got a Muppet, got, got Grandpa. We just need one more gack, and this one will be over. We got the guy with night creams slathered on his face. Good work. Worked out good. I really like this weapon. I mean, the high recoil shouldn't scare you. Of course, this was a pretty tight map, but still at distance, whenever we could build some, it did just fine. It absolutely did fine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try this in some 6v6. Grandpa's dancing to some music there. Put on the Hawaiian shirt. This is my warm-up game for the Sunday night stream. We can test a little bit of distance here. Kind of a drop shot. The mobility really helps in 6v6. The fast putting out the uh, putting out the bullets, fast time to kill here, because we were both fully healthy. There's distance, seemed to work just fine. There's an iron back. Why anybody needs an iron back carry around with a regular weapon? Uh, that's an AMR there, AMR with a 
Machine Gun Jubilee magazine. There's Iron Back. He came back for more. I really like it when you oh, wound somebody and they they get to safety, then they pop back out as if they're going to gack you. There's Iron Back again. He's hopping around like a kangaroo. I don't even know what happened there. I think I ran out of bullets and almost got the Renetti out. We got to pick up these tags. See, so you turn around with an AR and you're throwing them out at 14 rounds a second. That's what 845.1 or whatever equi is equivalent to. I know some of you say I play too much free for all, so here it is. I enjoy free for all because I only rely on myself. There's. Iron back jumping into the jumping to his death. Where should we put the cluster? That's a high traffic area, even though everybody's behind us, except for him. Switching back. Still alive. Got gotten the lead. Whoa. Now we're gacking. We're playing gack a mole. Trophy system out. Oh, got one of them. Thought I could get them both. They were pretty well lined up. Ooh. There's an Amazonian warrior woman. Well, I got killed by turret pretty quickly. Follow then there by me. We're losing again. Grandpa hates losing. I think it has to do with flying fighters. Anytime you came in second place in a fighter, that particular battle was not going well for you. You had to use your parachute, not your landing gear. Get back to Earth. Actually, crouch kill's pretty good with this weapon. Grandpa needs to wash his feet if he's going to be sniffing them that much. A little mom bad action, or uh, I'm sorry, Muppet action. Look at that strafe speed. 3.5 meters per second with an AR. I think my teammate already gacked that one. Oh, there he was. <laughs> yeah. I think I used a whole magazine to kill a guy that was standing still. It's not a good use of resources, Grandpa. Oh, look at how fast that guy's running. Whoa, 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 whoa. Built up a pretty good lead. Go for the head when I can. I mean, the recoil's controllable. I think the reason why I'm hitting the torso to start with is that I'm a little intimidated by the recoil. Shouldn't be, because as we saw in the shooting range, it's not really there. Did a little Muppet action there. I saw those guys coming in my sixth sense, in my brain. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of. Somebody took out the confuser up there, counter UAV, which I'm always happy when I'm on a team that somebody other than me is concerned about those sorts of things. There they are. Another cluster mine. I'll put it in the. Just out, kind of around that camping spot, and immediately get some work, and it also gets Grandpa. Teammates picking up the tags. Yeah, it's the disadvantage of a fast fire rate in a 30-round mag. Might have to go to 40, or is it 45? I think it's a 40-round mag. 
This is just about GG's little jump shot there. Oh, man, I had somebody I thought protecting my rear. And we do win this match. So Grandpa is pretty pleased. Overall, it's a fun weapon to use. Is it the ideal configuration for an M13B? It is for Grandpa, but I don't know. I have another one with less recoil in my armory. Hey, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you. Have a great week.